friends, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. Today's Monday, it's Memorial Day, and I am getting ready to grill, and I thought I would bring you with me. I'm gonna do a little grilling keto style, and I'm gonna make some deviled eggs. Um, we're gonna do on the grill some brat burgers, some mushrooms, and some asparagus. And then, like I just said, I'm gonna make some deviled eggs. And this will be like food for the week. I'm making quite a fair amount of it. Sorry, I'm drying my container. I'm trying to make sure all the dishes are clean and put away so when I'm done grilling, it'll be quick cleanup. So we're gonna go outside here in a minute onto my back patio, my little plot of earth, and we are going to get ready to do some grilling. Hope you enjoy. Hey guys, I brought out the brats, the mushrooms, and the asparagus. Now we get the grill ready. got my brat burgers back here let me bring you over here we go brat burgers mushrooms they're portobellas I'm gonna use them like my bottom bun and my grilled asparagus I already took a bite oh my gosh so good and it's a nice fat asparagus so it grills really well so that's all coming to room temp not room temp but you know you let it cool off I guess or rest I guess is the better word now here is my my eggs I cut in half. I'm gonna make some deviled eggs real quick. I'll show you how I like to make mine. Because everybody does it differently. So here's my egg yolks that I, I put a little salt and pepper and I just mushed them up. I use a little pickled juice for some tang. But I don't want too much. I don't like a runny egg. Again, everybody's preference. So I just kind of mush it up, stir that up. Get a little bit of a tang in there. If I have some dill, I'll mix that in too. Mustard. I like a tang. And then I do mayonnaise. So up to this point, I feel like this is a pretty standard um, deviled egg. But what I like to add to mine, which not everybody will like it, and that's okay. You can stop right here. And this is basic, stand, you know, deviled eggs. But I like you know, a little horseradish in mine. I just like the bite of the horseradish with my egg. So I do a little bit of that, a couple little teaspoons. And if you don't know if you'll like it, put a little tiny bit in. Mix it up. And then um, taste it. Uh, I would recommend maybe letting it sit for a minute just to let the um, horseradish and the pickle and mayonnaise and everything kind of blend. Another way I like to make these sometimes is I put... Um, Instead of pickle juice, I put jalapeno juice in it. Now let's taste it. 
Mmm. Perfect. That is perfect. I'm not touching it. Delicious. And I don't measure because you never know how big your egg yolks are. So I just, this is really by eye, unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever school you subscribe to, there's just no measurement because how many eggs you use, how wet you like it, preferably. I'm taking a zip bag, putting the mix in. I just like mine tidy. And by tidy, I mean like, I like to pipe. I like to pipe the filling. And then I'm going to be ready to make my lunch I'm starving I haven't had much to eat today and it is 340 so this will be like a late lunch early dinner I suppose I don't have to work tomorrow so it's irrelevant and then I close off my bag now you could totally do this put that in the fridge until you're ready to make them but I'm ready because I'm hungry so I cut the end off and I just take a little tip off the end I will say you're gonna to wanna to use a sturdy baggie, not a cheap Dollar Tree one, for sure, for this. Or if you have piping bags, which I do, but not everybody does, so. And then I just fill them up. Piping bag with a tip would make it more pretty, but this is my level of pretty for today. If I'm taking them somewhere, oh, I totally pretty them up. And then I get the paprika out, Maybe even a little chive on top. Um, but these are just for me. I'm not going anywhere. I went out last night with my cousins and had a wonderful cookout at their house with friends and family. And it was nice. Now you'll have, I always have just a little extra. So I kind of go back through and wish it on there. And there, woo, went my deviled eggs. But since they're just for me, that's fine. I'll wipe my counter down. Oh. Nobody has to know that I just cleaned my counter anyway. There we go. <laughs> Deviled eggs. Here's my lunch and dinner, lunchy dinner, dinner lunch, brunch, brinner, my brat with my mushroom, uh, deviled egg, and some grilled asparagus. And then to drink, I got, this is totally keto friendly, crook and marker, spiked sparkling tangerine, no sugar, zero car because of the erythritol tangerine. It is delicious. I got that Target. So there is my Memorial Day grill out. Hope you all enjoy and you have a good one. Bye.